So, um, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Roman. Um, this is John. Yes. And we're the developers and creators of Chicken, um, the game we're going to show you today. Um, <laughs> so, um, you know, as some of you may know from our earlier demo, Chicken is an open world sandbox creative game where you know, instead of buildings and structures, you build creatures and then you get to uh, make up a life and you get to interact and hang out with them. Um, we're, you know, we're fans of Minecraft and we're fans of SimCity and this is our contribution to the hot creative genre that's blowing up right now. You know, we're following on Minecraft, but there's a couple of apps and games coming out and we're right there with them. Um, so, uh, three months ago, we showed you a very early prototype of the game. Uh, you know, it barely worked. And we had a very simple version of a technology that we call empathic intelligence. And empathic intelligence is the engine that drives these creatures. It basically gives them emotion and executes their behaviors. Uh, so, you know, that was three months ago, and two days ago we released our first playable alpha. And right now it's available on our website, and we really hope that you guys all go to chickengame.com, chkgame.com, uh, game and download the version for yourself to try it out. Okay, so here's uh, one of the beginning creatures. Um, I'm gonna walk away from him, I'm gonna show you how to build I'm going to walk over here, get some space from him. I click, uh, I have a bar in the bottom, if you can see, and that's all of the items I have on hand. So if I click, right now I have a, a dog piece. Click and hit, there it is. And I can snap pieces together so I can easily build a body. Uh, attach the neck. A, a hit. Uh, go back to my inventory and grab some eyes, bring it down here. Attach the eyes. And that, as you'll see, these parts are uh, visual, but they also bring in ability. So eyes allow creatures to see and also bends the neck. Um, I'm going to grab a dog snout. The dog snout allows us to eat and to communicate. And I'm going to attach some limbs so that I can walk. And, and as you can see, the interface is very close to all the other creative games out there right now. Um, we don't want to reinvent that. We want to focus on the actual creature creation and motion. <clears throat> so I walk out. It comes to life. I'm going to grab a cheeseburger. And since I've, I just feel amazing, now, right now it's, it's treated like a wild animal. It doesn't know who I am. If I was to pet it, it might run or it might bite me. So to warm up to it, I'm going to try to tame them. I throw my cheeseburger out. <laughs> and uh, that moves what we call an empathic index that drives this creature's uh, empathic intelligence. So what the creature knows is. You're giving it food, but it doesn't really know who you are. It just knows that the food is an item that gives it sustenance. So over time, it will kind of develop uh, a relationship with you, you know. Um, and you know, you could feed it, you could play with it, and then you could hurt it and just do negative things to it, or just ignore it. So it takes some time. I'm gonna keep feeding it. <laughs> <laughs> so it takes a while. Yeah, it's a, it's a game. You, we expect the player to spend some time with their creatures and, you know, actually develop the relationship. And um, if they didn't like me, you growl. I don't hear him growling, so that's a good sign. Um, yeah, there we go. He's happy. I can see his facial expressions changed, and he wants to play. Like, I can, if I look over here, so I get a threat. He's not going to let me get away. I could actually unequip this and use my hand to pet him. And I could, now he's half, still happy, I can even throw a ball and play fetch. I'm going to try that right now. <laughs> <laughs> happy dog.
There you go. And that's empathic intelligence in action. You know, um, the dog kind of knows who John is now and is willing to play with him. Um, I know we're out of time, but we just so. Have another item here. We can throw a few eggs. They just spawn random creatures. And so another element of the game, the emotions, full range of emotions. I'm going to throw a bomb at one of these new guys. But the, yes. um, be, before that happens, um, you know, so that guy, the dog right now, really likes John. The other creatures aren't really too much and they really don't know that well. So let's see what happens when we throw a truth bomb. So you see, that creature got pissed off and is now attacking John while the dog is actually protecting him. So there you go. Now he's trying to run away, he's scared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want this poor animal to die, so I'm going to put a leash on him, drag him away. <laughs> And you see, if I look at his face, he's gonna be angry. No, no, he's still trying to cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you know, um, when we showed you the demo three months ago, it started off, we had just basically anger and neutral, you know, um, emotions. Right now, we kind of have, um, you know, we have anger, happiness, surprise. Uh, boredom and neutral, you know, so we're approaching the full range of emotion with it. Um, so that's, that's kind of, you know, that's, that's our game so far, I think. Um, you know, so we're at, we're in alpha right now. We took, um, it took us three months to get, to get here and um, we want to open it up to a community because this is a creative game and it's driven by creators, driven by players creating content for this game. Therefore, it's going to be essential for us to gain community support. So in about two weeks, we're going to launch on uh, Steep Greenlight. Um, that's going to take another two, three weeks probably. And in a month, in a month and a half, we'll have an open alpha on Steam, on, Steam, um, on early access. You know, so that's when um, that's when we're showing this game to the world in full, you know, and it's in its full glory. Um, so, uh, you know, you can go you can go to chickengate.com today, download it, try it out, and you know, we're we're looking for your feedback. That's all. Thank you.